is <coughs> best linear uh, linear prediction problem essentially uh, so this is your observations and uh, you want to estimate uh, x hat from the observations okay. so remember everything is matrix here it doesn't have to be square depending on the uh, this could be uh, depending on the observations right this could be long in which case this will be long and uh, short here or the other way etc right but the dimensions will match in other words if this is m by n this will be n by 1 right and this will be m by 1 etc right remember there it depends on if this is n by 1 this will be n by m and this will be m by 1 this will be n by 1 etc and uh, so this will be m by n right because of the dimensions right so the error here is uh, x minus x hat so you want to minimize the mean squared error Uh, so minimize, uh, remember the unknown is here, this filter uh, H uh, minimize the expected value of uh, So epsilon is a vector, it's a random vector because uh, X is X, X could be random and also the noise is there, right? So Y is also random, right? So you can write, if this, if you want, you can write this as the uh, uh, trace expression, right? Anybody, what is trace? Trace? Right, because <coughs> This is, remember, this is a vector, so absolute, uh, this is the, uh, if this is epsilon 1, epsilon 2, etc., epsilon, and this is expected value of epsilon 1 squared, epsilon 2 squared, etc., right? That's the, that's the uh, uh, expected value of the square norm. That's the same as, uh, if you look at this matrix, then if you add up the diagonal entries, you get exactly the same, right? So let me uh, pick it up. Uh, so if <coughs> epsilon is here, so this is going to be a trace of expected value of uh, x minus h y multiplied by uh, it's a star. So that's x star minus y star h star, right? So let me call this lambda, so that's easy. So lambda is uh, a trace of, see you have four, uh, if you, of course it's a quadratic if you expand four terms. I'm going to call uh, Rxx to be expected value of Xx transpose. Uh, then you have uh, Ryy expected value of Yy transpose. Then Rxy I think, right? So using this, I can expand this now, right? So look at here, expected value of xx transpose, yes? No, x, uh, x, uh, yeah, x, y will be fine, x is like this, right? And y will be, this is x, y transpose. So this is, what was the dimension? m by 1. So this will be 1 by n. Fine. So uh, look at here. x, x transpose, expected value. So that will be the first term, r, x, x. We can do it from here. Look at here. x y transpose expected value h star 
xy transpose is there, so that's going to be R x y h star, right? Then h y x y x is uh, so that's h R x y star, right? Because y x transpose is uh, the transpose of this will be y x transpose, and the last term is plus. So h, remember h is a, uh, a deterministic quantity, so minus minus plus h r y y h star. So we want to minimize this. You want to minimize this on H. Couple of, uh, I don't want to start taking, uh, you will say, uh, so how do you minimize? Remember, H is a matrix here. Look at here, H is a matrix. So I don't want to do symbolically as taking the derivative with respect to H, etc. So let me do it. Uh, 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 a slightly different way. So let's let's ex look at this expression. Anybody knows what is, uh, what do I mean by a, to the, a matrix to the power half, anyone? See, look at this. These are positive definite matrices, non-negative definite entities. So Rxx is uh, non-negative definite, or Yy is non-negative definite. Why is that? Because you know the definition of non-negative definite, if you take any arbitrary vector, multiplied by r y y psi should be what? Positive, right? That's what the non-negativity is. So let's see whether that is true. So this is r y y is here. So this is psi is just an arbitrary vector y, y star, psi star, right? Well, so if I call this to be a vector z, uh, this turns out to be expected. Uh, remember, this is not a vector. This is a scalar now because uh, Psi star. Psi star is like this, y is like this, so this multiplied by this is a scalar, this is the complex conjugate of that, so this is expected value of some random variable that's positive. So, so the same thing is true for Rxx, Rxx and Ryy are positive definite matrices. So like 4 is positive, so it can be written as square root of 2 to the squared or 4 to the power half is 2. Similarly, so what we mean by this is these matrices have an eigenvalue decomposition. So you can write this as u lambda u star. This is v d v star. But the lambda is all positive diagonal entries. So this is lambda 1, lambda 2, etc., lambda n. So this is uh, D1, uh, D2, etc., Dn. But all these are positive numbers. So you see, I can write this as uh, V, V star, or V star, V is I, because it's an orthogonal matrix. And here I will write uh, D1 to the power half, uh, which is square root of D1, right? So d1 to the power half, d2 to the power half, etc. d whatever is dm to the power half. The same thing here, d1 to the. We, this I can do because all the d's are positive. So this is so you, this is the matrix I'm going to call d to the power half. If this matrix is uh, d, so I can write this as v d to the power half. V star, then V d to the power half V star. So if I call this, these two are identical matrices. So I can call each half to be the square root of R. So this is R y y half, R y y half. So R y y half multiplied by R y y half is R y y. 
So it's not by taking the square root of the entries, you have to go through this process. You have to find the eigenvalues, eigenfunctions, take the square roots of the eigenvalues and put it back together. What is that? Why is it invertible? So I'm already assuming that uh, the data is uh, a full rank. In other words, I need to collect data so that the covariance matrix corresponding to Y is uh, full rank. Otherwise, you have not collect, you have not exploited the data, the problem correctly. So my assumption is R Y Y is uh, positive. So consequently, both of these are uh, positive definite matrices, and consequently, their inverses exist. And now, you are right; it may not be the case. In which case, uh, uh, the, in which case, that data has to be reduced to uh, reduced to a case where a lower dimension will have full rank, right? So that's a good. So let me expand this. Remember, uh, you remember if. I, Norm squared means that's what it means by norm squared. Hmm? Oh, yeah, I mean the, the trace, right, right. Yeah. So I'm going to expand this uh, using the, so I can write this as the uh, trace of. The quantity, so this is the this quantity multiplied by its transpose. So let me minus h. Multiplied by its transpose. So remember, R Y Y is also R Y Y transpose is R Y Y. So it's also Hermitian conjugate symmetric. Right. So it's it's its conjugate symmetric is going to be R Y Y half. This will be it. So this will be uh, R Y Y half, and then H star. Whereas the first term is going to be R Y Y half minus half, and this will be R X X. So now let me just expand it. This is R X Y, right? X Y. So its conjugate is going to be R X Y star, right? R X Y star is, of course, you can write if you want as R Y X, but let me leave it. Remember, A B star is B star A star, right? So now let's look at here. When I multiply this with this, you will get R Y Y inverse. So I hope you see this. So I'm going to write the four terms. R X Y multiplied by this multiplied by this. So that gives you R Y Y minus R X Y star minus. Look at here. This multiplied by this. So this is plus, this is minus, this is plus. That goes away. So you get R X Y H star. Then this multiplied by this. This is plus, this is minus. So you get H R X Y star, then plus plus H uh, R Y Y H star. Why am I doing this? Compare one and two. I can, I, I I hope you can see that uh, three terms are there, right? See, uh, this term is here. And this term is uh, here, and uh, this term is uh, here, right? Yes, three terms are here. So I can write that one. Just don't care about the rest. Huh? We don't care about the rest as a function of the. No, it doesn't matter, but I can write this. I'm going to, so I'm going to put an equal sign here. I, I hope you can see this. Uh, Yes. 
Yes? Huh? Trace, right, right. So I'm going to I'm going to put a trace outside. There is no reason for here, but let me just put a trace here. Because uh, uh, from this, if I subtract this term and add this term, uh, then I get back the other one, right? So you can, I'm going to remove this because if you have, so I'm saying this expression is equal to this. Yes or no? No, no, never. Where did I add numerical value? No, this is a, this is a, uh, this is not a matrix. This is a uh, scalar, right? Yeah, no, that's what I said. Uh, remember, the trace is, the trace is, uh, trace of A plus B is trace A plus trace B, right? So I think if you want, we can. So the, even if you put trace outside there, there is trace of the numerical uh, scalar, which is plus trace of this. But uh, let me put it here. Let's see. I guess uh, that was your point also, right? Now, just to, if you have copied this, I'm going to eliminate this, right? So if this is true, then I don't need this because I want to make a punch line is from these two lines. So you can see here, the answer is obvious now. Because the minimization is on H. So you want to minimize this quantity. This is a mess here. The usual way is you say you take the derivative, but because it's a matrix, it's not that clear, or you can use uh, lookup tables, but this is easy. So H is only involved here. And if you want to minimize this, uh, uh, the, what is the minimum value of a, this quantity? Remember, it's a non-negative quantity, so the minimum value is zero, right? So the minimum value that we can make this is this is equal to zero. If you equal to zero, you get H uh, R R Y Y. So the condition for minimizing is the best value is zero. That is R X Y R Y Y minus half. So this gives you H equal to. So many ways you can write it. So or the H star is that way. So this is again you can uh, interpret this as uh, whitening followed by match filter. So it's exactly the same uh, as before, right? Whitening because uh, so if you write this as R Y Y to the power minus half is whitening followed by R Y Y half. R Y X is uh, uh, matching to etc. So this is the optimum uh, filter. Uh, so if you are putting it, if I had put it as here H hat, this would turn out to be the solution. But I put it as H. And finally, if this is zero, the best value of uh, minimum mean squared error in this problem is uh, a trace of rxx minus rxy ryy inverse rxy star So in our case, what is R Y Y? Remember, Y was uh, Y is uh, so in this case, Y is A X plus N. 
So R Y Y is expected value of Y Y transpose. That's going to be A expected value of X X transpose A star uh, plus expected value of N N transpose. And we are assuming that the X and N are uncorrelated. Okay. So that's R X R Y Y. You also need R X Y. R X Y is expected value of X Y star. So that's expected value of X multiplied by X star A star plus N star. So that's expected value of X X star A star plus expected value of X N star. So we are assuming this is zero. So that's simply R X X A star. So in this special case, H is turning out to be RXY, which is RXX A star, then RYY inverse. And uh, sigma squared min is RXX minus uh, RXY RXX uh, A star then RA RXX A star plus RNN inverse A RXX trace of this. I mean, in special cases you can simplify, but otherwise uh, that's pretty much uh, it. So I'll do a, a two special cases. Any questions? So remember the two, what is the optimum filter, optimum receiver, and what is the minimum mean squared error? So these are the two quantities to uh, look at. Okay.